complete the turn. Oh yeah! Yes, that's... Hey guys, what's going on? This is another video here with Hairliciousy. I am here with Justin. What's hey, up, how's guys? it going, Justin? So we're actually on our way to Cosmetica. Um, we just spent the night here at one of the five-star hotels that uh, Cosmetica offers. And so Justin, how was your day here? How was your night? My night was good. I slept really well. Everyone here is like super, super hospitable. They're so nice. The breakfast is amazing. It's all-you-can-eat buffet. Yep. Um, so I had a lot of, it was so delicious. Yeah. Um, they actually have a mounted honeycomb, which is like the first time I've ever seen that. And yeah, it was really delicious. Yeah. Hey guys, check out this weather. Istanbul's weather is just phenomenal. And right behind us, we have Cosmetica's VIP transportation. Um, we're going to head over there with Justin. And then we're gonna go and see Dr. Jar, get his day one uh, procedure. This is the Cosmetica VIP transportation. As you guys can see, we have a lot of good space here. So come on in, Justin. Hey guys, so we have about 15, 20 minutes to kill from the hotel to Cosmetica. So uh, Justin, how are you feeling about the whole procedure? Are you excited? Are you nervous? Any worries? I'm because not, yeah, I'm not as nervous as I should be. Uh, I don't have to do any of the hard stuff. Yeah. Uh, I just have to lay there and not cry like a baby too yep. much. Yep. Um, so as long as their anesthesia, you know, works so where I don't feel anything, then I'm pretty good. And also, mm -hmm. as far as I know, I can use my headphones and just listen to music. Oh, I didn't know that. I think, okay. yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody told me that. Yeah. So, yeah. I think they have the, uh, it's like a needle-free anesthesia. Yeah. Like when I got mine, I actually had to, you know, do it via needle. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's kind of like the, the part that hurts the most. But I'm kind of interested to see how that, the needle-free anesthesia actually works. Yes. Um, I'm interested to see it on your vlog after it happens because I won't be able to see it while it's happening. Yeah, and you know, I might actually ask Dr. Jar if I can actually get it done just to kind of see how it feels like. Because um, I wanted to do a comparison to see exactly, you know, if it actually is pain-free or if right. it significantly is, is less painful than right. the actual needle version. So, yeah, and I'm dressed very comfortable. I got pants on that are yeah. Like, look at you, man. Kind of like bed. sweatpants. They tell you to wear sweatpants yep. just so you're comfortable while yep. you're doing the procedure. Yeah, man. Super excited for you. Um, do you have any? Uh, what do you expect from the uh, procedure? Is there like a specific hairline that you want? Because I know so, we haven't talked about that yet. Okay, yeah, Which... yeah, yeah, yeah. So the most important thing to me is you can't really see them as far as back that they go, but I okay. have like a recession points here and here. Yep. And so I want those filled in. And then also on my side, it kind of angles backward. Uh -huh. I wanna, I'm curious to see what Dr. Ajar's kind of recommendation is for that if he thinks that he can implant Harris there and make it look natural. So I'm curious to see, basically see what his advice is. The yeah. most important thing to me is probably full density I okay. have they've told me I have a good donor zone yep. so I want complete full density when my hair gets longer if I want to like brush it back it's not gonna look like too thin in the front or anything yeah and uh, I know we kind of talked about this during our first uh, video chat but you have a pretty good beard uh, yes. beard hair too man <laughs> so in case you need more grafts and you can also use that as backup because Cosmetica True. is also known for body hair transplants True. and a lot of people who don't have a good donor supply also end up using their their beard so right um i think you're gonna be in good hands and um a year's time from now you're gonna look phenomenal a year's time from now yep. i can't wait Hey guys, so we are just getting off here. We are here at Cosmetica. I want you guys to take a quick look at how the vicinity here is. Just incredible. And I don't know if you guys can see behind me, that is Cosmetica right there. Let's go ahead and get a little bit closer. Take a look. 
don't know if you guys can see this up here, but it says Dr. Ajar Tip Merkesi Cosmetica. So, Justin and I are going to head in. You excited, Justin? Yes. You ready? It's, it's happening now. It's, it's happening. happening. Yep. So, this is the reception area and the waiting room. Nice, modern design, which looks incredibly awesome. And then, I'm going to walk this way. So that's the dressing room. Um, you can put all your stuff, your belongings in there right before your procedure. The accounting room. Another executive room. And you guys will see, it's very spacious here. It's incredibly big. And just so that you guys don't go hungry, we have some snacks. As you guys can see here, this is where they do all of your band-aid removal. And here's a cool, quick glimpse of how the operating, well, one of the operating rooms look like. Very clean facility, modern equipment. Here's a patient representative room where some of the consultations will take place. And here's one of the rooms where some of the cosmetic staff do their research. Here's another one. And the superstar right here, Dr. Levent Ajar. Cleaning room. This is the sterilization room. So all of the equipment are gonna be put in that autoclave and thoroughly sanitized and cleaned. Medical waste room. Uh, so here's a, here's a woman's dressing room. So hair transplants are also for women too. And as we enter this room, this is where you guys are going to have lunch after your, well probably after the incisions and the extractions have been done. And let's go and check out this room here. So this is where all of the operations take place. We have the hair trans transplantation room. So if you end up coming to Cosmetica, you will be in one of these rooms. And I think this is gonna be your room, right Justin? Number two? I think so. Yep, number two here. Let's take a quick look. So how do you feel just looking at all of these equipment. Looks pretty comfortable. Yeah. Just gonna be laying down here on my front. It yep. looks like you're just gonna here. you're just gonna be relaxing here, right? Yeah. Yep. You're gonna make you're gonna have a good time. Here's another hair transplantation room. That's the lobby right there again. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, very modern. Oh, here's the the pharmacy to get your prescription after your hair transplant. You're going to get things like your antibiotics, that sort of stuff. So, yeah, pretty well designed. It's almost kind of like a maze in here. Here's a sampling room. And the photo shoot is where Justin will be going in. Yes. I'm and... Yep, before and after, right? Yes. Yep, incredible. Hello. Hi. And here is Dr. Another Dr. Jar's office. All right, so we're getting your blood test, is that correct? Yes. All right. So over here. Justin, you scared of needles? Mm. It's too late now. <laughs> this is just the beginning. <laughs> I mean, I don't, probably not gonna watch it go in, but. Yeah. Hello. What is your name? Justin. What about you? Um, yes, that's me. Oh. Yes. We're gonna be seeing Dr. Jar finally. 
Dr. Jar, nice to meet you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Yeah, how are you? How was the team? It was good. Yeah. Yeah, good flight, good food, had a good rest. Same. Justin. But um, to my knowledge, none of them have ever used any hair loss medication. Mm -hmm. um, me and some of my brothers um, have had kind of a receded hairline since we were pretty young. I remember it feels like my hairline was about this receded when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. So I haven't seen any dramatic hair loss recently. Mm -hmm. It's just these receded points. Corners. Yes, yes. Okay. So just a bit face down, please. So we have good tone area. Or as you can see. But this is the main donor area, it's the central part here on the and of course the sides are also as a donor area. Okay. But the sides has mostly not the same density as, as on the a lot thinner too, right? as you can so, see yeah. yeah but this is also donor area so we take here the soft hairs okay we collect them we, we put them more on the front line okay to make it the natural soft looking exactly. type of airline so because this is what we have in our nature so this is a big advantage for us right. the hair on the side here the single hair here and the single hair follicle here is not the same right because here we have thicker hairs and this structure doesn't change so we have to we have to found baby hairs or soft single hairs to make a very natural hairline this is very important yeah, yes. so for this we need a good planning a microscope with a high definition to mm -hmm. see everything to make the comparison so on a scale of one to ten how good of a density does justin have exactly is he a good candidate he is a good candidate he is a good candidate, but we will not make a hairline, we call it like a Drake hairline, we will yeah. not make that. Okay. We have to keep slightly the corners, mm -hmm. we will make a nice transplantation, yeah. nice looking, and we have to think about a possible the hair transplantation okay. to the crown. So we have to be a little more conservative, consider exactly. future uh, exactly. it future be, loss. This will be, fits his needs, mm -hmm. because he's very young. Of course, you don't want a too high hairline, right? But we will get what we want in the end. I mean, this will be an optimal uh, situation. Do you have a double curl? I do. Yeah. Two two crowns. Oh. Yeah. So this looks. Oh, yeah, that's right. This looks like sometimes, even if you have enough hair, a bit softer. Right, right. It can kind of the where the crown is. It can kind of make it look a thin. little softer. Yeah, maybe yeah. thinner. This is normal. This is the nature of your crown. Yes. Yeah. For change this, you have to increase the thickness of these hairs, and this works with finesse. Can you move your eyebrows up, please? Yes, exactly like that. Let's just down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like the clinic? Oh my gosh, it is so nice. It's almost like a spaceship. It is very it's spaceship, <laughs> right? It is very futuristic. You get the Ashton from the Mars, so he he did it. Were you ever a fan of Star Trek? I like it, yeah. Really? I like... I, wa I grew up watching the old Star Treks with my dad, yeah. the Next Generation ones, and Voyager. You fly back to one dancer, right? 
It is, let's see, on the 18th. I think that is one swing. Let's do a, uh, how about a Norwood 7? <laughs> Norwood 7, okay, so that's just like the top, kind of. Yeah, whatever you like, man. <laughs> okay. okay. Alright, here it goes. Is it your first time shaving your head? Yes, all the way like this. Nice. Come on, dig in there. Yeah, that's it. This is me. Dude, that's incredible. This is me if I didn't get a hair transplant in yep. 50 years. Yep. No hair transplant, no medication. No medication. And this is what you could potentially look like. Potentially. And, uh, yeah. Oh, man. Okay. So we have that uh, nice donor area right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, Justin, you look like a completely different person oh with your head gosh. shaved. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Yeah, good head, head shape too. So you can see all of the donor area right there. All the hairs that are going to be extracted from that zone. I have been curious what I look like completely bald. Hey, you, you look pretty good. Nice. You know, it's the people that don't have a good head shape. Right. That don't look as uh, aesthetically pleasing. But heavy, pretty round dome. Round dome. Round dome, yeah. Not too many people are privileged to have a good head shape. Interesting. So, I mean, later on the road, if you kind of wanted to go for a shorter haircut, you can also go for that, but it's looking good so far. All right, Justin, you're going to be going in now, right? Yes. Any last minute thoughts? Um, let's do this. All right, dude. Good luck. Thank you. I'll see you soon. All right, see you soon. <laughs> All right. After the extraction is finished, okay. it's grafts. Okay. Okay. And I will show you the grafts here. So these are the multiple grafts. Okay. Okay. Interesting. It's wow. just like that. It's very really small. We cannot see it. Yeah. <laughs> if you put it under the microscope. Wow. That is so cool. Yeah. These are multiple grafts, and here are some single grafts. Okay. Oh, wow. and we just take some samples now. We will start for the total extraction. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Looks good. Awesome. Okay. A bit red, but it's normal. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So we want we want big, right? To
guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video on my channel, Harry Liciousy. I am here with Justin. What's up, guys? So Justin just had his hair transplant last night or yesterday afternoon, right? Yes, it started in the afternoon, went all the way to 9.30 p.m. Oh my gosh, how was it, man? Your hair is looking incredible, by the way. Thank just, you, thank just you. Just take a look at that. So how many graphs? I believe it was right on the dot of 3,000, 3, from, from what I understand, yes. Okay. You like your hairline so far? I really Man, do. It's, it's this, looking incredible. Just look at that hairline. This, yeah. Just look at that, guys. This is like really exactly what I expected um, to be Dr. Ajar's recommendation. Mm -hmm. You might think it looks a tiny bit on the high side, yeah. but it's actually slightly lower than my lowest point was going into this surgery. Mm -hmm. And if you saw my lowest point, it actually was um, a pretty decent, pretty decent lowness. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. Once my hair grows out more and it's kind of wavy and curly, it'll actually make it uh, look like my hairline is even lower than it is. Yep. You can see I still have maybe a tiny bit of redness, a tiny bit of swelling going on. Um, but yeah, it's actually a lot less redness and swelling than I expected. It subsided very quickly the bumps there were bumps right after the surgery and they're like i in my opinion they're like almost non-existent now so yeah it's like healing up extremely fast yeah how was the procedure itself very easy going yeah first 10 15 minutes is the most uh, you're go it's going to be the most intense just because you don't know what to expect um but after that um you're good uh it's really the the most painful part is going to be the anesthesia. Yes. And yes, it's really yes. only scary because you really don't know what to expect. But after they get going, it's it's really not that painful. Um, so yeah, the anesthesia, after that, then you can't even feel anything when they're doing their incisions and their insertions. Um, yeah. Um, one thing uh, that Aaron told me to do, they can't read your mind, so the anesthesia does wear off. <laughs> and after a while, you might start kind of feeling uh, them either doing their incisions or insertions, and you just gotta let them know, I can feel it, I can yep. feel a little pain. They reapply the anesthesia and you're good to go. Make sure to speak up, don't be afraid to do that. Any recommendations for anyone who is about to just get their hair transplant? Um, some maybe tips that you can recommend? Um, recommendations. I mean, I look, I would recommend if you can, if I, I if you can, I would recommend doing the Delex DHI Sapphire method. That way, you get to um, spend more time with Doctor Ajar, mm -hmm. and he uh, performs the incisions. Right. And so, it's actually not that much more money if you think about it. Um, I think maybe in the range of a thousand, a little more uh, in USD, in terms of going one package. Uh, the difference between those t the package down from that i think it's called the dhi uh, sapphire method so yeah i would recommend the the deluxe dhi sapphire method Sit, just wait a tiny bit longer save up a little bit more money that's what i would recommend yeah uh, you get to spend more time with dr jar like yeah. you said he personally makes the incisions yes um, all the staff that dr jar works with are highly experienced highly trained yeah how was how was the staff the staff yeah. are amazing and the process goes mm -hmm. way faster than you would expect it's like they have this machine to extract the hair follicles and it's just like boom 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 it just goes so fast and so smooth and uh yeah their machine is so modern their uh both their extraction pen and their incision uh pen are they're able to have the smallest diameter I believe on the market it's cutting edge Dr. Ajar actually has his uh, uh, name on the patent for one of these pens and the smaller that you can go in, in pin size the um, the smaller that you can go the less of a wound that it creates yep. which decreases your healing time uh, so yeah and it's like made of like sapphire so it's really strong so despite it being a thinner uh, needle, I guess you could say. Um, it's actually really strong than previous ones. Yeah, the only strongest thing out there is diamond. Yeah. Um, so it's a very sharp tool. 
Um, it's going to give you that precise incision that you need. And, and there are also going to be micro wounds. So these micro slits, which Justin said, are going to result in a faster healing time. Um, the, the toy pen, which is the DHI method, which is also going to give you that 360 degree of protection for the grafts. And it's just incredible, man. Just look how his hairline looks. You just look like a totally different person. Yeah, dude, I'm so thankful. These parts right here, uh -huh. majorly filled in. He said, with, I talked to him in the consultation whenever he was uh, drawing the hairline. He said, you know, we could, it's possible to do five or 6,000 grafts and you could get like an extremely low hairline. Okay. But, you, but Dr. Jar is looking at the long game. You want to, um, you know, do something that's going to look fantastic. Have a uh, regimen in place. Have a strategy to minimize your hair loss in the future. And yep. then once you're, what, 50, 60 years old, if your hair loss was so aggressive that you need another hair transplant, you can come back and you have maybe up to one or 2,000 or 3,000 grafts available in your donor zone that you can do another hair transplant. Yeah, you want to go in there as if this is going to be your final hair transplant. You don't want to over harvest or use up and deplete all of your donor area because it is finite. We don't have an infinite source of the donor zone. So anytime you guys are getting a hair transplant, you want to be as conservative as possible. You want to take into consideration of future hair loss. And the thing is, you know, if your hairline looks too high, um, you can always lower it down. But yes. if you lower too much and you end up wasting a lot of grafts, those are grafts that you will not get back and it's not going to be reversible. So you always want to uh, be more on the on the conservative side. Yes. Okay, so we're heading back to the clinic right now. Uh, Justin is going to um, get another evaluation of how everything is looking. Going to get these removed gonna maybe, get, the bandages get removed, washed. And, and get his first wash. Yeah and uh, we'll keep you guys posted. It's looking good. So see how the technician is being very gentle. Um, you're not actually just sticking your head uh, in the shower, in the shower head. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what they said. Um, for the seven days right. that I wash my hair, mm -hmm. gotta get a cup of water. Right, and then just pour just it down, so right? The pressure is not yeah, you don't want to dislodge hard. any yeah. potential grafts. Yeah. And as you see, you're just dabbing very softly, making sure to clean up all of the scabs. And then she's probably going to go down to the, the donor area. But very, yeah, very gentle. Do you feel any pain there? Mm, it's a little sensitive. Yeah, it just stings a little, right? Yeah. And this is using lukewarm water? It's more on the cool side. It's on the cool side? Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Looks really good. Justin, how was your experience here? My whole experience from start to finish, um, it was very amazing. The Cosmetica staff have been very hospitable, very helpful, mm -hmm. uh, very nice um, transportation anywhere we need to go. Uh, my expectation as far as the hairline is very similar to what I expected. Um, it was really not that painful. Just a little mm -hmm. soreness and pressure after the procedure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm really grateful to come to this clinic. Uh, I said in the past, I, you know, I wasn't expecting to get a hair transplant this early. Yeah. And this, this hair transplant was offered to me for free to, to share, share my experience, get some exposure out there. 
but I'm by no means desperate. I would not go to any clinic. Aaron with Hairliciously is a very genuine YouTuber. I've followed him for years. I have um, a lot of trust in his advice that he's given. I have a lot of uh, trust in my own research and making sure that this was the place for me to go. Um, and, you know, I am very excited to see month by month and upload those videos on YouTube and just show how the progress is coming. Yeah, exactly, yeah. We, uh, we are going to document Justin's journey from start to finish and also keep up with his monthly progress. Um, Dr. Jar, how does, I know his hair looks incredible. You did such a good job, you and your uh, expectations. You what do you expect for Justin in the next, let's say, six to seven month mark and up to the 12, yeah. 12 final results? First of all, be creating new hairline, mm -hmm. but the hairline must be natural. We have to get the density. Right. And very important for me is we have to leave another 3,000 graphs for the future for any case. Okay. Uh, Justin will start for the medications which we speak about. Uh, we speak about the finasteride, about the Regain, Minoxidil, about the Dermapen. There are many different options to maintain the existing hairs, but he's young and uh, it is possible that he will need maybe another session okay. and we left on the donor area another 3000 crafts I hope we will not need it but if we need it we are ready for that and I expect a very natural hairline mm -hmm. uh, fits for the face and a good density and will match the existing hairs hair grow flow and uh, everything looks uh, very natural and once this is my expectation. Okay. I'm yeah. very happy to have you here. Thank you so much. And also nice to see you in person, Har. Yeah. Yeah, incredible. Yeah, Dr. Jar, thank you so much for the incredible work. Uh, let's just go ahead and show one last view of that incredible hairline and also the back of the, the donor area. And it's just phenomenal work. Uh, Dr. Jar, thank you so much for this no, opportunity. Guys. Thank you. And we will keep you guys posted on Justin's progress, like I said. And until then, well, we'll talk to you guys next time. Take care.